Would you let us stretch it up tonight? I'd love you to join me for dinner. Hello, Hugh. Tuna. I'll have a double scotch. All right, sir. Pretty entertaining out there today, huh? <laughs> That's what the people want. Entertainment. I got a proposition, Juna. Exhibitions are the thing now. Five, ten grand for two days' work. How'd you like to go on tour with me? We'd have some good matches. I'd expect to win, of course. But then we'd split the money 70-30 afterwards. You get the 30. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not just looking for another payday here. I couldn't breathe if it weren't for this game of golf. <laughs> I've once had the next king of England hold the pin for me while I putted. Did you know that? I did. Yes, I've paid back everything that golf gave me several times over. And now I'm on the receiving end. Whew. It's the good life, Juna. Why me? Crowd likes you. I think we have a lot in common, you and I. You've got no illusions that there's anything out there really worth getting riled up about. But the meaning of it all is that there's no meaning. Now ah, you'd be good company, that's all I'm saying. Thanks, Walter. I'll think it over. Hey, I admire the way you're dealing with this match, Juno. Fighting the way you are, it's, it's damn noble. But no matter how good a fighter you are, just remember, I can ask the king to hold the flag for me when I putt. But he's not going to give me his crown. Neither is Bobby and neither am I. I'm not asking for your crown, Walter. If I wanted it bad enough, I'd just take it. 